Hi everyone and welcome to Millennium Computers Online 5-Minute Tutorials. Today we're going to answer the question, how do I search using a date range? So what I'm going to execute here is a basic query in the Human Resources Reporting Module. And what I'm looking for is actually new hires. Now, I can enter some basic filter parameters here in terms of employee class or whatever other information I want. And let me show you what these queries look like by default. By default, you'll see a first hire date and a current hire date with one field with a searchable calendar and the drop-down menu will be set to equals. Now, if you're searching for a date that equals a particular date, you're not gonna get a whole lot of data. So for example, let's go ahead and put in July 1st and we're looking for current hire date of July 1st. Now, if we execute that query, we're not gonna get any data. I mean, that's a very specific period of time unless perhaps some of your uh, faculty association members have higher dates that are always on a particular day. And that could in fact be a useful parameter for you to use. But I think a much more useful search would be to not use the equal sign. Uh, and perhaps you could use a greater than or a less than parameter. So when you could say a current higher date is less than uh, one particular date, date in time. I think the best approach if you're trying to search for a group of people during a particular period of time, you want to use the between field. And this is, I think, is an underutilized uh, piece of functionality and one that can be really important. So let's change our query and say we want to search for a current higher date. Uh, and let's say between, let's go back in time here, perhaps 2004. Let's go July 2004 through to July 1st, 2007. So we're looking for current higher dates between those two set date ranges. Now let's re-execute the query. And here's a substantial amount of data. So what we've now generated is our particular employee classes, current hire date, apply to date range, and now we can actually, if we want to, also sort by current hire date or even potentially by first hire date, really depending on what we're trying to generate here. The way to do that in terms of sorting, and we do touch on this uh, in other tutorials, but I'll quickly give you a little reminder if we wanna do a sort function right on the reporting page, we can do a sort in either ascending or descending order. In this case, let's go ascending. And now we're looking at exactly the report we've tried to generate, which is a list of employees of a particular class in, in higher date sort order from 2004 to 2007, July 1st. So I hope this has been helpful for you, for you and join us next time for the next five minute tutorial.